Socializing 88. I read a news article a while ago, which I wanted to briefly discuss. It mentioned the changes which have occurred over time within culture and society. If one studies the lives of the righteous predecessors, they will observe many differences between them and the Muslims of today. One big difference is the way people respond to those who command good and forbid evil, which is a duty on all Muslims according to their knowledge. It is important for Muslims to understand this behavioral change, as it can prevent many arguments and enmity growing between people. In the past Muslims loved those who advised them to do good and warned them against bad things. In fact, they did not consider someone a sincere friend until they behaved in this manner with them. They actually even loved those who advised them on things which were not considered sins in Islam, but were only disliked things. This is a major change which has occurred. Many Muslims nowadays dislike being constructively criticized in this manner. In cases where unlawful things are occurring, it is a duty on a Muslim to gently and kindly warn against it according to the teachings of Islam, even if others dislike their behavior. But in most cases, where others are not committing a sin but are merely committing things which are disliked, it is better for a Muslim not to criticize them over them, as it will only lead to enmity, arguments, and it can even cause one to give up advising others because of the negative response they receive. The exception is when the one being advised likes being advised in such a manner. Therefore, a Muslim who desires to fulfill their duty and avoid arguments with others, should command good and warn against the unlawful, but leave aside things which do not fall within these two categories. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website, www.shakepod.com.